Sixth grade lesson 7.5 is evaluating algebraic expressions and formulas. This, I kind of call, I, I call this plug and play, where you just plug in the number they give you, and then you just go ahead and use order of operations. So those are the only two steps that you'll do in this um, for this lesson. So here's how it's going to look. They're going to give you this expression, 25 plus 9 times W. And then they're going to, and we don't know what W is, so we can't calculate it, right? Until they say, Psst, by the way, for W equaling 8 is how you're going to solve that. So all you have to do is say, oh, okay, now they're telling me, Psst, by the way, W is 8. So you're going to take this 8 and plug it in for the W. So that's what I mean by plug, plug and play. So I don't do anything to the 25. This is 9. Remember, when you have a coefficient uh, right next to the variable without a sign in between, it's multiply. Um, some of my students like to just put the little multiplication dot right there to remind themselves. Because sometimes as we, as we first get used to them looking that way, sometimes we forget. So, um, so you can put that there. And then it will be times. And now I know that W is 8. So I'm going to put that in its place. And from there, I'm just using order of operations to solve. Um, remember, order of operations, parentheses. We, let's put the checkbox. Parentheses, exponents clear, then multiplication or division, whichever comes first as you go left to right, and then add or subtract, whichever comes first as you go left to right. So I see multiplication here. That has to go first. 9 times 8 is 72. Bring down the 25. And then I just do the addition of 25 plus 72, which is 97, 97, um, and that's it. That's it. Okay, and then they want us, uh, another example that they give is this four times the uh, difference of m and eight, m minus eight, divided by three, four m equals 14. So what they mean by that, it looks like super long and it looks very complex, but once you kind of realize, oh, this is my expression and then this is them just saying Psst, by the way m is 14 so plug it in in its place so this is what we will plug in is the 14 in place of m so let's plug that in we still have four times whatever's in the parentheses but instead of m now i'm going to write 14 and everything else i just copy down now i'm going to use order of operations Parentheses. I do have parentheses, so I need to clear those first. 14 minus 8 is 6. Bring down everything you didn't do, and then use order of operations again. My parentheses are now clear. Clear any exponents. I don't have any. Multiplication or division, whichever comes first going left to right. Well, the multiplication here shows up first going left to right. 4 times 6 is 24. Cross off what you did. Bring down what you didn't. And then 24 divided by 3 is 8. There's your answer. And on this example, they want us to solve three times um, everything in the parentheses y to the second plus 2. That's the expression for y equaling 4. So now they're saying, Psst, by the way, y equals 4. So I'm going to take this 4 and plug it in for that. OK. And now I have order of operations that I'm going to do. Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. I need to do parentheses first. That's here. However, remember inside the parentheses, if you have two operations going on, then you have to use or a mini version of order, order of operations for that. Well, if you look at order of operations with just the exponent and just the addition, exponent comes before addition. So let me clear that first. So that's the first one that will go. 4 times 4, remember that's not 4 times 2, that's 4 times itself twice. So 4 times 4 is 16. Cross off what you did. Bring down what you haven't done yet so your brain knows exactly what's going on. Now I still need to clear my parentheses. 16 plus 2 is 18. Cross off what you did. Bring down what you didn't. And now I just have the multiplication of 18 times 3, which should be 54. All right, one more example. This one comes off of a word problem. Let's have a look at that one. Okay, um, this is the part where at the beginning of this lesson it said that you're working with formulas too. And maybe you're not familiar with what formulas are. Maybe you are familiar with what formulas are in math. 
usually it's just that it's it's an um it's a plan you can use to solve a problem that's always this way and so this is a formula you already kind of know you just haven't seen it you may not have seen it in formula form before so it's just it's like a shortcut so if you can remember them then um, it makes going through problems similar to it faster. Let me walk you through how they got this formula, where it comes from real quick. They're talking about rectangles, right? So I'm gonna draw a rectangle for you real quick. And they're talking about um, the perimeter. So if you recall, perimeter is like, if I start from one side, let me change colors here. If I start from one side of this park, let's say this is a park, and I walk all the way around the outside, the perimeter of it, how far did I walk? That's perimeter. And so what we learned in the previous year is that if I add this length plus this width plus this length plus this width, then I will know how far I walked. So perimeter will be length plus length plus width plus width, right? Length plus length plus width plus width. Notice there's two of these L's here, so why not just put them together? Two times L, right? L plus L is the same as two times L. And there's two W's here, so why don't we just put them together? W plus W is the same as two times W. And that's where they got this formula. So it's just that shortcut for how to solve it. You've been using formulas already. When we talk about area of a rectangle, you already know, oh, area equals length times width that's a formula so then you know that already so you can just plug in the numbers that you're given and go from there so we have this uh, problem the formula p equals 2l times 2w gives a perimeter of a rectangle with the length l and the width w we don't know it yet what's the perimeter of a rectangular garden with a length of 2.4 mm, we know the length now and the width pst, the width of 1.2 meters we know the width now. I covered that up. There we go. And so now I'm just going to plug that into the formula. 2 times, now I know the length. It's 2.4. Plus 2 times, now I know the width, 1.2. Now I just use order of operations. There are no parentheses. I'm good there. There are no exponents. I'm good there. I multiply or divide whichever comes first as I go left to right. This came first. 2 times 2.4 will be 4.8. Cross off what you did. Bring down what you haven't done yet. I'm still on the multiplication check. There it is. 2 times 1.2 will be 2.4. Cross off what you did. Bring down what you didn't. And now the last thing I need to do is the addition. 7.2 and remember it was a measurement of meters so meters is your answer 7.2 meters so they gave you the formula that you can plug the numbers into I showed you how they got that formula so that you understood that it, it stood for something uh, and then they gave us the information the pst, by the way these are this and so we just went ahead and plugged the length in 2.4 the width in 1.2 and that's how you do that that's that's it so hopefully everything made clear sense and you're ready to go. Good luck.